Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to trim dog's nails. And I know a lot of us are at home and we don't have access to our groomers. Uh, maybe you, you don't even have access to veterinarians. For some reason, veterinarians are not essential in all states right now, which is a shame, but it is what it is. And maybe you have never trimmed your dog's nails before, or maybe you're scared to do it. Maybe you've done it before and you accidentally hit the quick. And obviously we don't want to do that, especially right now, if, especially if you don't have access to veterinary services. I will say what you're going to need to have on hand, order some quick stop from Amazon, or if you don't have time to wait for that, you can also use flour. So get some flour ready just in case. Quick Stop is a coagulant, which basically is a powder that you put on the nail. If you do hit the quick and it starts to bleed, it will coagulate the coagulate <laughs> it will coagulate the blood and help stop the bleeding if you don't have quick stop available you can use flour it doesn't work quite as well but it, it can still get the job done you'll probably just need to use more of it and wait a little bit longer for it to actually happen but do have that ready just in case and then we're gonna have our nail trimmers and some treats so I'm with you on this like I do not like trimming my dog's nails, but I know that when their nails get really long and unfortunately Kim's are long, we've been working on this with her, trimming just a little bit um, frequently. So I, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. What we wanna do, especially if this is something you are brand new to, we don't want to get to the point where we feel like, oh my gosh, there's the quick, I don't wanna cut it. We just wanna cut the tips off so we are maintaining until we can get back to some sense of normalcy in our lives and we can have our groomers do it or our vet techs do it, whoever actually normally does this for you. So I'm gonna show you on Kim just what we're gonna do. And the key here is to make sure your dog is comfortable. So this is Kim's like comfortable spot. She likes being on the couch with us, but she doesn't really like me doing things to her on the couch. Here, this is like just her spot. So if your dog has like their spot, then go there. And again, the key here is just find how your dog is going to be comfortable. So if they're fidgeting and moving a lot, try something different. Kim, I have noticed just over the past few times that I've trimmed her nails, she does not prefer, there's um, different ways you can hold them in your lap or maybe you hold them and have your partner trim their nails. She's not into that. She would prefer to just lay on her side and let me do, I'm gonna show you, I literally do one nail at a time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one nail and then we're gonna stop and give her a treat or him if you have a male dog so we're gonna do one nail stop give them a treat let him take a breather get back in position do one nail stop give him a treat let him take a breather so again we're gonna do one nail we're gonna stop give a treat and take a breather then get back in position do another nail stop give a treat take a breather a uh, couple of tips if your dog has pretty clear nails like kim does you're going to find this a little bit easier to see the quick if they have dark colored nails it's going to be very difficult to see the quick so we just want to take off the tip one thing i will say is if you start cutting and you you take off the tip and you start to see a little ring and i'll show you a picture here I'll, if you see a little ring you're you know you're getting close to the quick so don't cut any more at that point Point. So if you don't know what the quick is in your dog's nail, it's where the bloodline starts. And if you nick that and they start bleeding, it's actually pretty painful for your dog. So we want to do everything we can to avoid that. And that's why so many people are scared to cut their dog's nails. And I get it. It's not my favorite thing. And for most dogs, they don't even want you doing it. They don't want you touching their feet. So right now you can the technique I'm showing you is one way to help acclimate your dog to being okay with having their feet touched and having their nails trimmed because we're using positive reinforcement to let them know that yes, this is happening, but you get something good as a reward in return. So this is something we can do, especially right now when we're all at home and just cut the tip, the very teeny tiny tip, and I'm gonna show you here in just a minute, and we can do this weekly to make sure that we are maintaining our dog's nails and they're not getting too long because if our dog's nails get too long when they walk, because they, they don't actually walk on their 
foot pad. They walk on their toes. So if their nails start getting too long, then it's uncomfortable and it can create a lot of discomfort in their joints and in their toes going all the way up their legs and of course into their back. It can create a lot of discomfort if their toenails are too long. So we do wanna maintain them. So what I'm gonna encourage you to do is just cut a teeny little bit, a teeny little tip off of each one of the nails every week while we're at home. And I'm gonna show you right now how we're gonna do that. All right, so again, the key here is work with your dog don't work against your dog. So let's make sure our dog is comfortable. If you can only get one or two nails done today, that's okay, then we'll do that. We're gonna let our dog get comfortable and we're gonna work around our dog. I'm gonna give her a treat or two just so she calms down and relaxes in place. And then we're gonna trim a nail. And if it helps, draw out two paws or four paws on a piece of paper and mark which ones you did so that the next day you can come back and you know where you need to start again um, because not all dogs are going to love you doing this and if this is the first time you've done it you may get scared I totally get it we're just going to do a teeny little bit so we don't have to be scared so we're going to start we're going to get our dog comfortable girls or guys whoever if you have long hair put your hair up put your comfy pants on because we're going to work around our dogs and we're going to try to keep their comfort uh, foremost in our mind right now so she I can see her quick, which is that bloodline, comes down pretty far. So we're just gonna take a teeny little bit off of the top. So we're gonna, okay, that's okay, it's okay. If they jerk, let them jerk. We're gonna let them calm back down. All right, so we just got a teeny little tip and that's okay, we're gonna pause. We're gonna give them a treat, let them eat the treat and calm down and we're gonna get back in position and do the next one. Pause, I get it. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Pause like stop. <laughs> All right, good job, good job. Can we do the next one? Okay, good girl, good girl. All right. Okay, we just got a teeny little tip there. Yeah, good job. Now, one other tip I will give you is to use a really super high value reward for your dog, meaning something that they absolutely love to eat. So I've actually done this with Kim a time or two before. So right after I trim her nail, you probably notice she jumps up and she looks at the bag. She's waiting for me to give her the treat because she knows the drill and your dog will start to get this down too. So we're gonna do one nail at a time, give a treat, and your dog is going to start to learn that this is the routine. So let's do one more nail. Good job, monkey. Good job. Good job. Here we go. Just like that. Don't forget to do the inside dew claw right here. It will probably help you before you start to trim nails to actually trim the fur around the nails so you can see the nails really well uh, before you start to actually trim the nails themselves. So I know this does take a little bit of time and of course it is going to take some patience. I really have the patience because this is so much better and this is gonna be so much easier for your dog too, especially in the long run, rather than having to get them in the car, maybe put them in a carrier or a cage in the car, drive to the vet's office. Maybe they don't like going to the vet's office or maybe they don't like going to the groomer and you have to take them. You have to maybe drop them off, leave them with the vet tech or the groomer. You have to go back and pick them up. You have to bring them back. I mean, it's just a whole thing. It's a whole routine. So if you start this now with your dog, just do it once a week. Take a little bit off every week. Your dog is going to start getting used to it. You're going to start getting used to it. You're going to start getting quicker at it. And it's just going to be, I mean, a routine. You're going to be in and out, get their nails trimmed, and you and your dog will actually be much happier to just sit in the house, do it at home, five, 10 minutes, and you're done. Okay, that's it. That is how to trim dog's nails for beginners and using positive reinforcement to actually shape the behavior you want in your dog. So as you can see, Kim is just kind of laying back <laughs> and letting me trim each nail because she knows she gets a yummy treat in between every single nail that I do. And it's shaping that behavior that you want in your dog. Again, using patience and positivity. So if you don't already have a copy of my book, The Seven Canine Commandments, I talk about patience and positivity. It's something that you absolutely want to use. And 
in everyday life, not just with your dog, but in life in general. So please do grab a copy of my book. You won't be disappointed. It's uh, The link is in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you know people who are having trouble right now and they're so scared to trim their dog's nails and they just want to know, look, I need something so super easy for me to just start share this video with them because it can really help them. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Click that subscribe button down there. And once you click the subscribe button, make sure you click the bell next to it and check all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm gonna finish trimming Kim's nails and get this video uploaded for you because I know it is gonna help you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.